welcome to my channel in this video we're going to talk about the isometric and allometric growth patterns and this is lecture 7 on growth and development growth patterns refer to the variation in the growth of organisms at different stages of their life cycle so remember that different organisms shows different pattern of growth because their body grows differently. We have various growth patterns, but in this video, we're going to discuss the isometric and the allometric growth pattern. Start with the isometric growth pattern. Uh, Iso means the same, while the metric means the measurement. So, isometric growth pattern this growth pattern occurs when the organs except wings and genitalia grows at the same mini rate as the rest of the body so all organs of the body except the wings and genitalia grows at the same mini rate as the rest of the body by doing so the change in the size of organism is not accompanied with the change in the shape of organism. Thus, the whole body remains the same as organism grows. So remember that in a symmetric growth pattern, all organs of the body just grows at the same mean rate. That's why as organism grows, there is a there is an increase in size but there is no change in the shape of organism the isometric growth pattern occurs in some codets like fish frog and some insects like grasshoppers this is the diagrams to illustrate the isometric growth pattern in fish and the grasshoppers uh, in fish as you see that the increase in size does not accompany the change in the shape of a fish because the organs of the body follow the same rate of the body and in the grasshopper you see that there is no change in shape also as the grasshopper grows but the wings and the genitalia grows separately from other organs. We can use the graph to illustrate the symmetric growth pattern as we can plot the graph of length in a millimeter against the time in a year. We obtain the graph of this nature which shows that all organs follow the same mean rate of the body that's why there is no change in the shape of organism as it grows the second one is allometric growth pattern allo means different where the metric means the measurement so in this growth pattern different parts of the body grows at different rates with respect to each other so each organ has its rate of growth hence change in size due to growth cause change in shape of organism because each organ grows at different time with another organ because the growth of the body organs occur different mean rate from the growth of the rest of the body that's why there is a change in the shape of organism at the organism growth and this type of growth pattern occurs in animals such as mammals so remember that during the growth of mammals like a human being there is a change in the shape of the body because each organ grows at different rate at different rates with 
compare it to the other organ. Uh, we can use the graph to illustrate the allometric growth pattern in a human. As you see, we plot the graph of size attained by organ as a percentage of total growth and the time that is measured from the birth in years. We have the growth curve for head, growth curve for the lymphoid tissue, growth curve for the relative growth curve the human as a whole, and the curve for the reproductive organ, and the line to show the final size of organ. Interpretation of the curve, uh, the brain and the head contain it. It develops earlier than any other tissues of the body and the base it has already attained 25 percentage of it is adult weight and at the age of um, five years it has already attained the 90 percentage of it is size so the brain will be the first organ to develop but the lymphoid tissues Remember that the lymphoid tissues are those that concern with the immunity of the body. It is like a thymus that produces the blood cell for immunity. Uh, the thymus grows earlier and it, it reaches the maximum just before the adolescence and it then started to decline. Um, the lymphoid tissues such as thymus start to, to develop earlier in life of a of a human because it, it assisted the fighting of infection during the childhood but once the person reached the adolescence it is the size now starts to decrease but the reproductive organs that we call it the genitalia start to grow rapidly during the adolescence so during the adolescence is when the reproductive organs start to develop more in order to produce things such as hormone that will facilitate the formation of secondary sexual characteristics of that individual. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so as to get the new notifications.